Hey everyone, I'm Cookie Brothers with FCF International. Do you ever look at the mega churches and ministries and think, yeah, if I had the kind of money they do, I'd have a greater impact too? Well, of course you have. All pastors and ministry leaders have. Let's face it, we all want our churches and ministries to go, grow. I'd say that most of us want to grow so that we can have more impact for the kingdom of God. Recently, I read a quote from Blake Bradford that said, small and mid-sized churches will never be able to compete with mega churches in the diversity and quality of programs, but they can always outrelate them. I liked that quote a lot. No matter the size of the church or ministry, large or small, all have a God-given potential to make a God-sized impact. So here's three things I want us to look at so that we can have impact no matter the size of our church or ministry. First is stewarding of the people that we have. You need to look at who do, who's with you. Are they artsy? Are they entrepreneurial? Maybe they're into agriculture or they're business professionals or even some foodies. But by stewarding the people you already have, you immediately have some means of connecting with your community in ways of commonality. And any organization can do charity work. And many excellent organizations do wonderful and essential charity. But what differentiates the church from other charity or social groups is that we're in the Jesus business. So now we need to plan for changes to our ministry's missional outreach to make it more relational and impactful. Second thing I recommend you do is focus. You've heard the phrase, jack of all trades, but master of none. You don't want to try to do everything in your community. You want to hone in on what fits with your vision, mission, knowing who's with you, where you will have the most relational impact, and try to be more specialized and not so general in your approach to outreach. Okay, third is mobilizing people. Your congregation has unique gifts from the Holy Spirit and a unique mission field to transform for Jesus Christ. So as a smaller church or ministry, you also have the benefits of intimacy, authenticity, and simplicity. Stay on purpose. Stay connected to your neighborhood and leverage your gift of intimacy and right-size your leadership structure to unleash disciples into ministry based on the giftings, capabilities, abilities, skills, training, and experience of the congregation members, you now start vision casting. Why are we getting involved with this area of our community? What difference can we make? How will people's lives be affected by what we do? So then after vision casting, it's who's interested in heading up this outreach? Who's passionate about it? Who else wants to help? And what resources will be needed? These are important things to consider, but don't be too concerned about growing. Let's be intentional to have God-sized impact.